A University of Arizona hand cycler was forced to go through his last competition without his hand cycling bike after it was stolen from his home just a few weeks ago near Grant and Park Avenue. I spoke with him today on how he hopes sharing his story will somehow get his custom bike back. It's going to be a long process, like even if I get a new bike to get it as you know, as comfortable as I had it, you know. Ricardo Rincon Gallardo is a student athlete at the U of A who has been involved in adaptive sports since his motocross accident back in 2012 where he broke his back. Among those sports, hand cycling quickly became his favorite, even bringing him from Mexico City all the way to Tucson to participate in the sport. A custom hand cycling bike, of course, is no cheap instrument. While costing him thousands of dollars, to others the bike had very little value. You know, I live in a tiny studio apartment, so I didn't thought it was necessary to drag it in and drag it back out if I was just going to be quick. And within 10-15 minutes that I come out, the bike was stolen. Even after filing a police report and reaching out to local bike and pawn shops, Gallardo has had no luck getting his prized possession back. I had a competition last last weekend that I, you know, I was able to go with a borrow, you know, I was, I'm, there, I'm borrowing a bike, but of course it wasn't the same, you know, my training was impacted. He hopes in sharing his story, someone may see it and return it to him. Maybe he didn't know what he was stealing. Um, I would just say like, man, just, you know, um, just turn it in, you know, like the fork and the frame, they're no good for you and, you know, they mean the world for me, so.